Did you know that at the end of this episode, we'll be halfway through this video game? This is going to wind up being one of, if not the shortest series for a game that I'm actually going to finish. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That fall was not good. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, my controller is not the greatest. Not the best for uh, precision platforming, and not the best when I didn't know that I was going to be, uh, you know, pushed. Uh, the gimmick of this stage is that there is wind, and the wind will push you. So that's fun. Also, there are crystals that will hurt you. Okay, well, we can't go that way, so I guess we have to go through here. Oh, okay. This wind is actually not that good. It doesn't just uh, force you through those things. You have to actually rotate the camera each time. Why? I don't know. I would think that wind would not adhere to the way that your camera is facing, but would instead direct you in the direction of the wind. Makes it uh, very difficult to actually figure out where you're going. So that's very annoying, actually. It's quite annoying. You have to kind of come in at an angle, make sure you turn a proper way. It's it's just a pain. It's just very little fun. Also, now there are archers. The archers are no fun. They're not that bad when there are only a few of them, but when there's a lot of them. They're, they're, they're kind of a pain. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Gotta hit that switch. I don't know if this is actually the faster way to go, but... I guess we're gonna do it. It seems like a way more dangerous way. But we did it. I believe there's another level with those crystals. Later on. See, every time it uh, it puts you through the wind, it's it basically acts like a jump. It doesn't act like actual wind, because I guess they couldn't program actual wind, so they just programmed an additional jump. That's, that's probably why it controls that way. It's very dumb, and I do not like it. And I wish that the game... You know, I wish it was better. I did look between, uh, between episodes here... And apparently this was Indiegogo funded, and they didn't even meet their Indiegogo goal. I think it made it like 40 or 60% or something. It, it, it was going for like 3,000, and it may have gotten somewhere around 1,500. I got baited there. there, there there's something I gotta flip on. As it turns out. Doesn't look like it's over here. Doesn't look like it's behind there. But yeah, because it's not spinning. Ah, I see. Uh, but yeah, so this game was made on a very, very low budget. And it actually, like, I think it's a pretty game. I think it looks pretty good. I just think, functionally, they could have done a better job. I, I just think the gameplay is... Apparently it was trying to be a Zelda-esque game, and I'll be honest, I haven't played a lot of Zelda-esque games, but this did not seem very Zelda-esque to me. I mean, I guess because it has puzzles and is in a 3D, and is in 3D, I guess that makes it like Zelda. But mostly, I mean, we don't have any other weapons, any other tools. We just have the sword. Uh, you, act, you get to do your collectathon. You do have to beat the enemies. You can't just let them be. Like in most Zelda games, you don't even have to fight the enemies. It's kind of pointless. Also, it's kind of dumb here that like the fastest way to get back is falling off as opposed to, like, actually having a way to get back. Whatever, that's fine. 
Like this is this is more Banjo Kazooie esque. It's a collectathon. It's not. It's not Zelda like. It's got too much platforming for that. It's got too much. Get all the things. I I just don't. I don't think if that was their goal, if that is what they were going for, they did not achieve it. And if it's not what they were going for, then why would they say that on their Indiegogo page? Really makes you think. Doesn't really make you think. So now that we've got rid of wind, we now get floaty physics. And floaty physics are really, really good when you don't have much control on your controller. Because if you make an imprecise movement, it doesn't really hurt you that much. Unless you do it at the very end, in which case it does hurt you. So I want to see if this is the way the secrets are, or the way that you're actually supposed to go. And it looks like this is the actual way you're supposed to go, because it keeps giving us the dialogue at the bottom, which is actually voice acted. You probably won't be able to hear much of it, but it, it is voice acted. So I figured there must be a secret over here. My gamer sense was... was ticking. And then, whoa! Whoa, that is, that is not the... that is... It's not the view you want. That is this this is not good. Now I see the blue dot. I wanted to see how I get to the blue dot. And that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, we'll go back and try again. I think it's weird how this game throws new mechanics at you and then like that's it. It uses it for part of a level or a whole level and then never again. Like I said, it feels like a demo. It feels like an unfinished game. I mean, it is an unfinished. It's technically a finished game, I guess, but with a with a time of like an hour and a half. It's it's just not much of anything. So at this point, I figured out where we have to go. I just have to actually figure out how to get down there. And I figured it out. It wasn't very hard. So there was a secret over here. I didn't goof it. That makes me happy. Now we can progress through the level as intended. It's always, it's, uh, one thing I do like about this game is you always know, or at least you have a sense of how many enemies you have left. Like, there's going to be nine enemies over here, probably, because it'll get us to that nice round 50. And then all you have to do is, uh, find the two other statues to break. And then you're done. You can't take any damage, uh, outside of, like, crystals and enemies. So as long as you avoid the crystals, if you've killed all the enemies... You're, you're done taking damage. You cannot lose. Because you you don't take any damage from falling off. I mentioned the archers were annoying, didn't I? I mentioned no lock-on was annoying, didn't I? We knock this guy out. What happens if we knock him off? Did we get the gem? I don't know if we got the gem. Oh, we got multiple gems there for some reason. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to get to our 50. So that means unless there's 25 more enemies, that's all the enemies in this level. We did it. Oh no, another one of these. Okay, oh, well. You hate to see that happen, but it doesn't really... At least it doesn't really penalize you. Just kind of is annoying. But you see how it like does a jump, right? Because that's how it how they program that in. Just I just think it's kind of funny. Oh, now we got to avoid all these. 
which is actually really, really easy. Like, ridiculously easy. Looks like there's a statue right there. That one wasn't very hidden at all. And then we need some more platforming. Some more floaty platforming. Wouldn't want to make this too difficult. There are probably some people who are not gamers playing this. Unlike I, a professional video gamer. I think on this on the on the game Steam page it's like easy enough for anyone to beat. Which is great. I guess there is an appeal to that. We are currently in the in the gamer community. Currently at a a point where we are debating whether or not easy modes are a good thing. Whether or not having those options is beneficial because of uh, Sekiro, the FromSoft. FromSoft is that the the company? The Dark Souls, the Demons Souls, the Bloodborne people, the on this floor who make very difficult games, and uh, lots of people are playing Sekiro and having a time of it, struggling just a little bit. Also, I saw a secret there. We're gonna get that secret. And a lot of the gamers are not too happy about people wanting an easy mode. And at first, that is also what I thought. I thought, why, why would people need an easy mode? The game is supposed to be difficult. And you just kind of got to get good, don't you? And then, I will tell you what I thought on the next episode. See how I did that? It was, it was smart. <laughs>